What's up guys, this is BS for Build, I'm Chris. Today we're doing a different episode format. This is a quick how-to video on how to make steel rust fast with household products. This is my project BMW behind me. I built some weird trunk louvers and a wing in the last few days, and I wanna get those to rust. I don't have time to just leave it out in the rain all year long, so I gotta create rust now. And I can show you guys how to do that with just household items and being on a real small budget. Stay tuned. So we got our steel here, and uh, a lot of times when you're working with steel, you can get grease that comes off of your hands and other things. And uh, so to get this stuff to stick and dig into the metal, you can't have grease. If not, what will happen is you'll spray on top of it. The grease will make a barrier between your spray and the metal, and that spot will end up a little bit, uh, it won't rust like the rest of it. So ways, if you're, if you're at home and you don't have any way to degrease, you can look up ways to get grease off of things. You can use fire, you can use sanding, you can scrape all the metal down bare. There's a lot of ways to get it off, but um, I would use degreaser, so that's what I'm gonna do. I have some paint prep degreaser, so I'm gonna spray all this down with degreaser, and then we're ready to apply our mixture that's gonna uh, create rust. All right guys, so here's all the ingredients and tools being used. We have uh, distilled white vinegar, hydrogen peroxide, ordinary table salt, Morton salt, don't get sea salt, or Himalayan sea salt. And this is the paint prep degreaser that I used earlier. There's probably a lot cheaper options than this. This is pretty expensive. All right, so first thing you wanna do is get uh, some white distilled vinegar in your spray bottle. All right, so you can see I just filled it up about that much. And then we're gonna go ahead and apply a full coat of this on all the metal that we wanna rust out. So we're just spraying white distilled vinegar on our metal. All right, once you have a coat of that on there real nicely, give it some time to dry and sink into that metal a little bit. While your vinegar is over on the metal drying, you can go ahead and mix up your spray bottle for the next step. You wanna take about half of the vinegar that you put in here, so I'd, I'd give you like about a finger width or whatever in your bottle. It really doesn't matter the mixture that you do with this too much, so I'm just gonna pour a little bit back. Yeah, a little bit more. So I'd say you wanna do like one part vinegar uh, to about six or seven parts hydrogen peroxide, and then a couple tablespoons of salt. So if you're gonna try and get exact on this, what I'm gonna do is I'll do about two tablespoons of salt, two to three, one part vinegar, six parts hydrogen peroxide. Once you got it all in there, shake it up good to dissolve all the salt into that mixture. All right, as soon as I turned around from finishing up my mixture, this is kind of what the, the metal is starting to look like. So this is just the vinegar, and this is the drying time that I'm letting it do its thing. So it's a golden yellowy color. And that's what's happening. You're, you're starting to see the rust form. I forgot to mention earlier, don't touch this with a rag or anything else like that. If you wipe this, it's gonna change the pattern of the rust and it won't look natural. So leave this stuff alone through the whole process until it's done doing its thing. So you can tell by the droplet sizes it's not quite dry yet. I'm gonna give this some more time and then we're gonna spray our solution on it. All right, I've let that sit as long as I wanted to. I'm actually gonna try and keep a little, couple beads of the water, because I wanna get more of a runny effect than a straight out, like, matte color out of this. I actually wanna try and get some of the runs in it. So I've adjusted my spray bottle to have a little bit more of a finer, uh, finer pattern, so it'll glob up a little bit more and hopefully run. And uh, it's time to uh, go ahead and let it rip. So you can see I'm going a little bit heavy on the top and just letting it run down. You can see it rust. All right, so you can see I just went ahead and applied one coat, waited a couple minutes and then applied another one. So this backside, it foams up a little bit and that's normal and then you gotta give it time to dry again. And we have this side. Really came out like I wanted it to look, kind of like urban industrial style rust. 
So that's got a ways to go. It's got time to dry and do its reactions. I'm just gonna set it up on time lapse and let you guys watch it go. All right, well there we have our finished product. It's still drying and it's gonna continue to rust literally forever. But that's it for now. I definitely got the result that I was looking for. So I'm super happy with the way that that all turned out. Great contrast, great deep red color. The contrast, the uh, black body of the car there. All for about $3 in supplies. All right, well that's it for our How To Rust episode. Thank you guys very much for watching. You can find us at facebook.com slash build We are also BS for build on Instagram and you can find us at bsforbuild.com. You can help out the channel by buying any of our merchandise at bsforbuild.com. Scroll down to the shop, there's awesome things like hats and shirts and there's even BMW shirts on there, so go check that out. And if this video was helpful to you, please hit the like button and jam the subscribe button. Thank you guys all very much for watching. Peace. <laughs>